हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे आई विल टीच यू इम्यूनोलॉजिकल टॉलरेंस दैट इज द बेसिस ऑफ ऑटो इम्यूनिटी दिस इज आल्सो द अनदर टॉपिक फ्रॉम इम्यूनोपैथोलॉजी ऑफ द जनरल पैथोलॉजी सेक्शन सो टुडे वी विल डिस्कस रिगार्डिंग द इम्यूनोलॉजिकल टॉलरेंस इफ दिस इम्यूनोलॉजिकल टॉलरेंस इज फेल देन ऑटो इम्यून डिजीज इन अवर बॉडी कैन हैपन सो दैट इज द बेजिक ऑफ ऑटो इम्यूनिटी so let's start the discussion on the tolerance what is tolerance and why autoimmune disease develop in our body before i start my video i request you to see the video in the high quality so that your quality of video will not get hampered so first of all what is immunological tolerance you might have question so remember that normally our body is non responsive to the self antigen the self antigen will not recognize as a foreign and so the autoimmune disease is prevented so that non responsive state to the self antigen is known as immunological tolerance the scientists have given one beautiful name that is immunological tolerance right so if your immunological tolerance will fail then you can develop immune reaction against your self antigen which should not be present you will develop the antibody against your self antigen and that is known as autoimmune disease so we will discuss it in detail what is immune tolerance and how autoimmunity will develop so first of all you have to remember that immunological tolerance can be of the two type either it can be central tolerance or it can be peripheral tolerance so why such name is given you might wonder so just remember that t cell and the b cell are produced in the bone marrow right and the t cell will get mature in the thymus while b cell will get mature in the bone marrow so this thymus and bone marrow is known as central organ of our immunity they are the central organ while that of spleen lymph nodes mucosa associated lymph node tissue all that are included in the peripheral organs of the immunity so if you develop the self reactive lymphocytes means they will produce the antibody against the self antigen if such lymphocytes are somehow by mistake produced in our body and so when they will get maturated in the thymus and bone marrow they will get removed by one mechanism that is called as central tolerance it that process is happening in central organ that's why it is known as central tolerance and if they escape from the central tolerance such self reactive lymphocytes escape from the central tolerance then they will get removed periphery that is called as peripheral tolerance right so first of all we will understand how central tolerance will develop suppose uh, there can be two mechanism of the central tolerance central deletion and the receptor editing or we can say central editing so first we will see central deletion suppose during maturation in the thymus and bone marrow if you have self reactive t cells or b cell that are producing antibody antibody against your self antigen so if you have self reactive t cells or b cell that will react you against your self antigen then in the central organ means in the thymus and bone marrow they will get removed by one process that is apoptosis you already know that apoptosis is coordinated and programmed cell death to remove Uh, some unwanted particle antigen etc and this mechanism is, mechanism is under control of aire gene that is autoimmune regulatory gene so if you have mutation in such such gene then your central deletion mechanism can get failed your central tolerance can get failed and you can develop autoimmune disease so this is the mechanism of central deletion deletion means to remove self reactive lymphocytes removed by apoptosis and that's why it is given the name central deletion it's very easy to understand now if some notorious b cells 
सेल्फ रिएक्टिव बी लिम्फोसाइट्स नॉट रिमूव बाय एपोप्टोसिस देन व्हाट विल हैपन इन सेंट्रल ऑर्गन देन दे विल अडॉप्ट द डिफरेंट मैकेनिज्म हाउ दे विल रेंडर द रिएक्टिव सेल्स इनएक्टिव दैट वी विल सी सो द डिफरेंट मैकेनिज्म इन्वॉल्व रीअरेंजमेंट ऑफ द रिसेप्टर एंटीजन जीन ओवर द बी लिम्फोसाइट्स the receptors over the b lymphocytes will get we can say rearrange so because of this rearrangement of the gene they will express totally new receptor they will no longer old receptor there will be new receptor so that they will be no longer self reactive they are changing their structure by rearrangement of the gene so we can say that this mechanism is called as an central editing that is the central editing mechanism for rendering the self reactive lymphocytes into the non self reactive lymphocytes now as we have discussed if some of the self reactive lymphocytes not get removed or there will be no central editing in the central organ means central tolerance is fail and such lymphocytes if escape from the central tolerance then what will happen they will get removed by peripheral tolerance our body has done with the, all the things if your central tolerance will fail then peripheral tolerance will get in work so how the peripheral tolerance will mediate the removal of the lymphocytes so there will be four mechanism of the peripheral immune tolerance the first one is energy second one is suppression by the regulatory t cell third one is activation induced cell death and fourth one is antigen sequestration so these are the four basic mechanism the most common first mechanism is the energy how it will activate so if you are having the self reactive t lymphocytes and b lymphocytes they are getting ex- they are getting escape from the central organ then what our body will do the co stimulatory activation will be blocked you might have remember that t cells and b cell need to be get fully activated to perform their function and they will get fully activated only when co stimulatory molecule will be activated so here what happen co stimulatory molecule will be block such co stimulatory molecule for the t cell will be the number 28 and for the b cell it is the cd40 so this co stimulatory molecule will be block so t cell and b cell can no longer be remain reactive they can no long no longer be remain active so they will become non reactive non functional it is called as energy So this is the first mechanism. Now second one, suppression by the regulatory T cell. You might have remember that T lymphocytes having one variant that is called regulatory T lymphocyte. They express the two important structure. One is CD twenty five and another one is Fox P three gene. These two will induce the secretion of interleukin ten and transforming growth factor beta. so they can inhibit the self reactive lymphocytes so this is the mechanism by regulatory t cell so you can get idea that if this gene is mutated fox p3 then what will happen you can develop autoimmunity because of the failure of peripheral tolerance third mechanism that is the activation induced cell death now once there is a self reactive antigens and self reactive t lymphocyte they will stimulate one two important structure first is fas ligand and another one is pro apoptotic molecule particularly beam bead and pad it can activate nox as well nox and puma so this pro apoptotic molecule activation and the fas ligand activation will induce the apoptosis through the two different mechanism this beam bead bed can lead to intrinsic pathway of apoptosis and this fas ligand can stimulate the extrinsic pathway of apoptosis so in this way there can be apoptosis and removal of such 
सेल्फ रिएक्टिव लिम्फोसाइट्स सो दैट मेकेनिज्म इज एक्टिवेशन इंड्यूस सेल डेथ फोर्थ वन इज एंटीजन सिक्विस्ट्रेशन ना वॉट हैपन इन अवर बॉडी देर आर सर्टिन इम्यून प्रिवेलेज ऑर्गन दैट इज हैविंग हिडन एंटीजन मीन्स द एंटीजन्स आर सिक्विस्ट्रेटेड लाइक दैट ऑफ आई टेस्टिस एंड ब्रेन they are in no longer contact with the blood or lymphatics so such antigen cannot recognize by our immunity because the antigens are sequestrated right it is the hidden but if you will do the trauma to this organ right if there is a trauma or there is a inflammation then what will happen the sequestrated antigen can get activated and there can be production of antibody against this antigen that is also basis of autoimmune disease so that is mainly regarding the central tolerance remember central and peripheral tolerance that will prevent the formation of the self free that will remove the self reactive lymphocytes or prevent the formation of such self reactive cells central and peripheral now if there is a failure of tolerance then you can develop autoimmune disease there are three basic principle of the development of autoimmune disease the first one is failure of tolerance that we have understand it is the main mechanism second one is some genetic and environmental factor and third one is role of infection sometime so we will see these two remaining factor first of all genetic factor and environmental factor now certain autoimmune disease are runs in a family right it runs in a family why because the some autoimmune disease are related to the specific hla locus for example dr1 dr is associated with rheumatoid arthritis and sle hla b27 is associated with ankylosing spondylitis that is frequently asked as, asked as an mcq hla b27 is associated with ankylosing spondylitis the pt pn22 gene is associated with the type 1 diabetes and the rheumatoid arthritis that is also important mcq and third one is nod2 gene that can be associated with the crohn's disease that is one of the the one of the inflammatory bowel disease idiopathic inflammatory bowel disease so certain hla location can can be responsible certain genetic factor can be responsible for development of autoimmunity third one is role of infection now what happen sometime infection can up regulate your co stimulatory molecule so that cd4 t lymphocytes and b cells can get constantly stimulated and so there can be constant antibody formation so that that is one of the mechanism of autoimmunity by infection another one is sometime what happen virus or bacteria may show the similar antigenic structure like that of our host cell so what happen your body will develop antibody to that particular virus or bacteria as well as against our the host cell antigen because the structure is similar so that is known as molecular mimicry right the virus or bacteria are having the same antigenic structure like that of our host cell so that is the basis of molecular mimicry so this is the basis of de- development of autoimmune disease these are the basic principles so you have to remember that our immunological tolerance will prevent the autoimmunity so the tolerance is very important hope you can write down the short notes as well as can solve mcq related to it the immune tolerance can be of the central immune tolerance or it can be peripheral the central one is mediated in the central organ that is thymus and bone marrow while peripheral tolerance is maintained in the peripheral organ through four mechanism right one is energy another one is activation induced cell death regulatory t cells and the immune privilege while in the central immune tolerance there will be central dilation and central editing hope my video will be beneficial to you in understanding 
the basic of immune tolerance and how the autoimmune disease develop in our body if you like my video subscribe my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notified whenever i am posting the new video thank you very much